apparently a special edition Xbox 360 500 gigabyte blue bundle was revealed. Microsoft appears to be releasing a special edition. According to a leaked Walmart flyer for North America, Midwest, and South South Rand regions. Now here go the thing here. Now I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not hate on Xbox at all. I'm not you know I don't need to approve it solely do shit like this. I think the whole point of Microsoft right now is to put is to promote the Xbox One. You get entice people to buy the Xbox One, not entice people to buy the Xbox 360. Sure, the 360 had like a nice library of games, but it really not getting anything more exclusively to the dang console. No, like part it's part just done. It's just games games that on every systems now. The bundle is two hundred and forty nine dollars, or two hundred fifty dollars. So why not just save one hundred forty nine more dollars get an Xbox One? You know, at this point of the life cycle on the console, it made no sense to bring out a, a, a new bundle for the last generation consoles. But that's just me. I mean, a lot of people like to play a last generation game. I mean, I understand buying up down a PS3. PS3 currently do got a lot of exclusive games currently keep coming to the console. So it makes sense to get that because it actually, you know, it actually makes, you know, it actually, you actually get your money where it make way more sense than an Xbox. To get an Xbox One, this is how I see it. Like, seriously, like, what's the point? Basically, it's just a cheaper way to say that you want to get a console instead of you can't afford the one that costs a uh, $149. Well, maybe you can't afford it. Maybe you got some type of fi- other financial obligations to get the Xbox 360. I don't know why you wouldn't have a 360 already. You know, I don't have one, but there's like two of them in my house. I technically don't play the shit. But, I don't know. Well, a sexy blue is pretty damn good. I mean, it'd be cool to have a damn sexy all red PlayStation 3. I know they came out with one of those with the God of War bundle that came with five games. Which was more bang for your buck? I mean, you got five games for free with a sexy red ass um, PS3. To be honest with you, I have all five of them God of Wars already. So, it really didn't affect me in a way. But then again, red is my favorite color. And red is pretty damn sassy, like how blue is other people's favorite color. But like I said, Microsoft needs to just solely try to like get rid of the Xbox 360. Even though it got like an 80 million installed bed, they going to continue to bring out you know multiplayer games for it, probably up to the year 2015, 2016. Because we know that the new Tomb Raider is coming out for the Xbox 360 as well. But that was a bad move for Microsoft as well because. That would be an opportunity to capitalize, get more people to buy the new console instead of staying with the last generation console. That, like a video that I already explained, all these, all these new games coming out for last generation consoles as well. I mean, it should give everybody a chance to play the game. I, I mean, I had a problem with that, but we still need to have some exclusive games for this generation, or they ain't gonna have nobody jump ships to next year, and that's that may be a major problem. But anyway, until you guys think about this, make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.